Good morning, everybody. This is Carlo Motta reporting for the European Sting live from uh, European Business Summit 2014. We have the pleasure and the honor to have here uh, at our pavilion Ms. Hande Osnan Bozatli, which is the president of the Assembly of European Regions. Um, good morning and welcome. Thank you. So I would like to start with a general question on the um, things that the e e AER sorry, uh, does. So can you tell us a few things about your activity and your mission? AER, the Assembly of European Regions, was established in 1985, so it's a, quite an old organization which deals only with regional policy. We have members all around the Europe, in wider Europe, about more, well, more than 230 member regions from 35 countries. We are both EU and non-EU. What we want to do is to promote the regional dimension, regional policy, government and democracy. We are independent, uh, we are politically independent, so we are able to voice our member regions independently in front of all European institutions. That's quite interesting. Um, so I would like to link to a second uh, topic, as you, you said that you um, about, you said something very important about your mission. Um, but I would like to ask you, in a fragile situation like the current one in the EU, in which apparently eurosceptic and separatist streams are gaining attention, how can a regions oriented um, reality like yours help the European Union vision to succeed, to, re to remain united? Indeed, organizations like the Assembly of European Regions is a very good example. I'm the president of the organization. I'm originally coming from Istanbul. I'm a regional politician of Istanbul. But when it comes to voice ourselves on the same platform like the Assembly of European Regions, we all have a common uh, voice and the organizations like this seem to be a bridge for peace and uh, separatism, ag acting against separatism. So what we do also in EBS is to bring together the regional policy makers and SMEs and the private companies because we the regions want to take our role in also policy making and implementing the European policies uh, also at uh, private uh, marketing sector and uh, while EU is facing a difficult time we believe we are going through the recovery phase and we just want to take our role as regions because we are the ones independently voicing the citizens of our regions. So. You say that we are on the road to recovery. Do you see a brighter future for the EU now? Well, I do see, because at least uh, we, the politicians, are more determined to be constructive. Uh, that's, as I said, why we, the regional policymakers, are here together with the SMEs and private companies. And uh, we voice ourselves, and what is the future of Europe, the youth? Uh, in our executive board, as the, for the decision making, we have the president of Youth Regional Network. We have many young people in our organization to actively take part. And when I see them, I'm optimistic. And I believe we are the ones to voice ourselves that we want peace and dialogue, not separatism. Thank you. That's very, um, that's very interesting. Um, so, what's the role that European regions exactly should play in order to overcome the economic crisis? How do they have to behave uh, economically-wise in order to succeed? Well, apart from our willingness to take part in policy making uh, for the globalization of the economy, we also are doing our uh, homework as regions. We are also changing our strategies to be uh, in parallel with the new rules of globalization. 
And uh, at this point, I also have to remind that we shouldn't trade off our customs, our traditions and diversity. Uh, so being very close to the citizens, we know the demands, we know the needs, uh, and there we have to be here in meetings like the executive uh, EBS and in policy making. So you agree, I'm pretty sure that you will, to the vision that is diversity the key to success of Europe? Well, diversity means different voices, and then we bring different voices together in a nice environment platform. It's more creative. Yesterday we had a panel where Mr. Han accompanied us, and it was an honor to have him with us during all the panel. We heard different stories from our different diverse regions. They were so interesting, starting from the uh, very west of Europe, Azores, going back to Istanbul, uh, and also we had some people from Africa and even China in our panel, which was a very good uh, collaboration and uh, sharing the stories of all regions. Okay, I thank you for now, and if we can cut just for a second, I would uh, be pleased to welcome